Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday. This begins on page 407. This is the message we have heard from Christ, that God is light in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of God's herald. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God, a recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd, and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those that are with young. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. So as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. There are two psalms set for today, Psalms 56 and 57. These begin on page 278. Psalm 56. Be merciful to me, O God, for they are treading me down. All day long my adversaries press upon me. My enemies tread me down all the day, for there are many that arrogantly fight against me. In the hour of fear, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and fear not. What can flesh do to me? All day long they afflict me with their words, and every thought is how to do me evil. They stir up hatred and conceal themselves. They watch my steps while they lie in wait for my life. Let there be no escape for them. Bring down the peoples in your wrath, O God. You have counted my anxious tossings, put my tears in your bottle. Are not these things noted in your book? In the day that I call to you, my enemies shall turn back. This I know, for God is with me. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and fear not. What can flesh and blood do to me? To you, O God, must I perform my vows. I will pay the thank offering that is due. For you will deliver my soul from death my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Psalm 57 Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for I come to you for shelter, and in the shadow of your wings will I take refuge, until these troubles are overpassed. I will call to God Most High, to the God who will fulfill his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He will send forth his faithfulness and his loving kindness and rebuke those that would trample me down. For I lie amidst ravening lions, those whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongue a sharpened sword. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. And let your glory be over all the earth. 
They have set a net for my feet, and I am brought low. They have dug a pit before me, but shall fall into it themselves. My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul, awake, lute and harp, for I will awaken the morning. I will sing your praises, O my strength, for God is my strong tower. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as he came to share our human nature, so we may be partakers in his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This morning's first reading is from the uh, book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 33, verses 10 to 26. Thus says the Lord, In this place, of which, I, of which you say, it is a waste without human beings or animals, in the towns of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate, without inhabitants, human or animal, there shall once more be heard the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voices of those who sing as they bring thank offerings to the house of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. For I will restore the fortunes of the land as at first, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, in this place that is waste without human beings or animals, and in all the towns there shall again be pasture for shepherds resting their flocks in the towns of the hill country, of the Shephelah, and of the Negev, and of the land of Benjamin, in the places around Jerusalem, and in the towns of Judah. Flocks shall again pass under the hands of the one who counts them, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and at the right time I will cause a righteous branch to spring up for David and he shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In those days will be saved, uh, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will live in safety. This is the name by which it will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. But thus says the Lord, David shall never lack a man to sit on the throne of the house of Israel, and the Levitical priest shall never lack a man in my presence to offer burnt offerings, to make grain offerings, and to make sacrifices for all time. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, If any of you could break my covenant with the day and with the day and my covenant with the night, so the day and the night would not come at their appointed time. Only then could my covenant with my servant David be broken, so that he would not have a son to reign on his throne, and my covenant with my ministers and Levites. Just as the host of heaven cannot be numbered and the sands of the sea cannot be measured, so I will increase the offspring of my servant and the Levites who minister to me. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Have you not observed how these people say, Two families that the Lord chose have been rejected by him, and how they hold my people in such contempt that they no longer regard them as a nation. Thus says the Lord, Only if I had not established my covenant with day and night and the ordinances of heaven and earth, would I reject the offspring of David and of my servant David and not choose any of his descendants as rulers over the offspring of Abraham. Isaac and Jacob, for I will restore their fortunes, and I will have mercy upon them. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Uh, the second reading is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 1 to 12. 
Now, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith our ancestors received approval. By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. By faith Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain's. Through this he received approval as righteous. God himself giving approval for his gifts, he died. But, though his, but through his faith he still speaks. By faith Enoch was taken so that he did not experience death, and he was not found because God had taken him. For it was attested before he was taken away that he had pleased God. And without faith it was impossible to please God, for whoever would approach him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith, Noah, warned by God about events as yet unseen, respected the warning and built an ark to save his household. By this he, con he, commend he condemned the world and became an heir to the righteousness that is in accordance with faith. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called and set out for a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he set out, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he stayed for a time in the land that had been promised, as in a foreign land, living in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked forward to the city that has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith he re received power of procreation, even though he was too old and Sarah herself was barren, because he considered himself faithful who had promised. Therefore from one person, and this one as good as dead, descendants were born, as many as the stars of heaven and as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Let's say together the canticle, the hymn of the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But of all who received him, who believed on his name, he has given power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. And from his fullness have we all received, and grace upon grace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Collect Prayer for this week. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new, transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace, and in the renewal of our lives make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we pray today for ourselves. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you be merciful to us as we recognize our sinfulness, as we continue to journey through this season of penance, this season of Lent.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help all your people, Lord, to be truly grateful in humility for all that you give to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May all of us use our talents, gifts and wealth in your service. We pray especially for those who do offer their talents and gifts and wealth in your service here in this parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in our world who are poor or whose dignity is unrecognized through the greed of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that we may know you as the source of all we are and all we have. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the suffering in our world, the people of the Ukraine and its surrounds, the people of Queensland and New South Wales, as they repair their lives following the floods, for people everywhere where there is fighting and unrest. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church. Pray for our Bishop Kate, for our Archbishop Philip. In our cycle of prayer, we're asked to pray especially today for the ministry to the Defence Force, for Bishop Grant Dibden and the chaplains and members of the Defence Forces. We pray for the Social Responsibilities Committee, for its chair, Gordon Priest, and for the Parish of St. Luke's Frankston, for Glenn McRae and Dennis Emery, the clergy there, and all the people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our own parish, Pray for growth in our parish, growth in faith, in spirit, and in number. We pray for all in our parish family, especially those unwell or who are anxious and concerned. And in our cycle of prayer, we pray today for Carolyn and Annalise Etelaine, Adrian Evans, David Ayres, and Pam Gardner. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The morning collect, Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all that we do this day, Direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. May the God of peace equip us with everything good, so that we may do his will, and may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever. Amen. Amen. 